Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you a variation of the XY scatter plot that we've been doing before. In our previous graphs, we've done XY scatter plots where each set of data is plotted as a data point, and then we add a trend line to the fit later. In this case, I've got a lot of data. In fact, my rows go down to 149, and I don't want each of these data points to show up as an individual point on my graph. I'm not going to be fitting it to a trend line in this case. I'm going to just show the evolution of the data. So it's a variation of the XY scatter plot we're going to do today using the smooth line feature. And then we'll talk about how to format it and make the different lines distinguish from one another without having to use color. All right, so the first step is let's make our graph. So I'm going to go here to insert chart rather than the traditional XY scatter. We're going to scoot over here to the scatter with smooth lines graph where I'll get all my data plotted and the lines with the dots will be connected smoothly and I won't see the individual points. Now, you notice in this case, I've got all my data with plotting itself so trying to be helpful here and instead I'm going to control what's being plotted. So I'm going to go right click and do select data. I'm going to scoot this over and I'm going to remove a couple of these points already. So I don't want absorbance plotted. I don't want that one plotted. I don't want that one plotted and I don't want that one plotted. And I'm going to put them in on my own. So we're going to do add a set of data X values. I'm going to click and highlight and I'm going to cheat because I know that these rows go down to row 149 and I don't want to highlight all the way to the end. Then do the same thing for Y click, highlight the values for Y. Again, I know that's going to go to row 149 and I hit OK and then there's my one set of data so far. But now I need to add the other two sets of data. So again, we'll right click, select data, add another set of data. So click on the little plus sign. X values, go highlight my X. Again, I'm going to cheat and just go to 149. Do the same thing for Y. In this case, it's column D. And I'm going to call that 149. And then I'm going to add my third set. Highlight my X values. And go to 149. Oops. 149. And then highlight the Y. And go 149. Now, if you were to do a legend, the default name would be series one, series two, and series three for the traces, unless you put a name in here. So for instance, if I call this hot and I hit okay, notice in my legend, it says it's the hot trace is the black one, but we're not gonna do a legend. So I'm actually gonna delete it and get rid of it. And there are my three traces. And in this case, they're distinguished from one another by using color. And in our reports, I don't want to use color. We can just use a distinguishing line to distinguish them. We can do a solid line, a dashed line, or dotted line. So let's talk about how to fix that. So my first line here is gray. I'm going to double click on that. And you're going to go over to this paint bucket that looks like it's tipping over. Click there. I want a line. I want it to be black. And I want it to be a solid line. So I'm going to take click on that. Now I'm going to do the same thing from my blue line, click on it and notice here it's showing in blue. Let's make it black, but down here under dash type, let's make it a dotted line. And then we'll do the same for orange, change it from the orange to the black color and change the type and we'll make it a dashed line. Click back on the graph. And there you go, you've got your three graphs with your three different styles of lines. If you don't like the formatting and you wanna make them a little bit more distinguishable, you know, maybe make this little, little fine dots, you can go ahead and do that. And then in your figure caption, you would tell the reader which line corresponds to which trace of data. Other videos tell you how to change the title, change the axes, so we're gonna stop there. But there you go, how to graph more than one set using the smooth line feature and to change the format of the line. Thanks.